on guys, Pete here with uh, another Force Friday offering. This here being the uh, Star Wars T65 X-Wing. Uh, which variant, I couldn't tell you. There's so many variants, but the popular everybody knows T65 by Incom. This product is an Air Hogs product by Spin Master. Um, not much to say, you know, it looks like the s foil wings, as a lot of people would know, is locked in uh, attack position, does not open or close. I mean, it just looks like it stays in open position the whole time. The laser cannons are separated, so it looks like that you have to attach them on and probably for any kind of crash landings, they can pop off and re be reattached. But um, as far as detail, it's a, it's a nice little pickup. Um, you know, it's got the R2 astromech in there. Uh, really nice weathering on there. Looks like it's, you know, not something pristine. It looks like it's actually been flown. So I'm assuming with uh, R2 in there, this is a T65A. Um, outside of that, you know, it's a uh, nice packaging. It's got Kylo right there from obviously the, you know, the Force Awakens, which that with that, you know, cross marketing Disney, but hey, who's, who's really caring about it? This is really designed for a four year old, right? Nope, 10 and plus, that's right. Uh, checking around the rest of the packaging out back, it's going to give you a quick design. Also has the Millennium Falcon, uh, another cross product that we did show another video. Click in the link below. Um, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get right into it and uh, let's open this bad boy up. This is a knife. Alright, let's cut that bad boy open. Nice, fresh, Hong Kong smelling plastic and cardboard in here. It's a sign of quality. Let's get this out. Let's put that box right there. Instruction manual for the ladies. This pre-fight checklist for the amateurs. Got a little, well, that's gonna be. That. Wow. What do you know? It looks just like the Kenner one. The stubby, we'll call them. Let's put that right there for right now. So, uh, if you take a look down, I'm not sure how close we can get it. Go to go to Mr. Deville over here. There's actually only two actual turbines with actual working uh, props in them for motors. So. Uh, and then you'll also see when you don't get into detail, you actually have two, I mean, you know, I'm not very uh, avionically inclined, but two little owl runners, I forgot, Dave. You'll, 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 you'll check me on that, Mr. Captain Pilot. This is plastic that we have to remove for the most part. I'm not gonna leave that plastic, that's good. So we'll leave that there for right now. Move on. Break this. So we get this out. All right. Get the little fun fact while I'm working out the laser cannons here, the X-Wing fighter, um, the killer of the Death Star, not once, twice. That's right. No fact a lot of people don't realize. Famously piloted, obviously, by Luke Skywalker, as everybody knew, but also by Wedge and Toots. Besides Luke, the only other survivor in X-Wing, both uh, both Death Star ones. All right, there we go. We got the remote out, and we got the cannons. Let's take a look at the cannons here, see how they pop on. Okay. All right, so they are directional. You'll see a T-tab. There we go. So you'll notice the T-tab, a flat. Same thing there on the actual fighter. It's hard to see on that side. You'll see T-tab and a flat. So you just match that up. Another little fun fact about the Incom T65 was actually developed for the Empire originally, but after the nefarious ways of the Empire, the whole Incom team decided to defect and become rebels. I don't exactly the movie actor, you know, can't even close it on each other, but whatever. It's like some of them aren't cut all the way, you don't want to. I'm not really gonna force it. If this is designed to pop out during flight, then I'll leave it at that. I really don't want it to be exactly fully, hardly inlaid in there. And not quite as sturdy as a product as the Millennium Falcon, but 
it'll get the job done. All right, there we go. X-Wing fighter in attack position, all ready for flight. We'll get this charged up and we'll be back with our, uh, so inside the actual remote here, on the right hand side, lower bottom of the portion, Microsoft should be looking kind of a knockoff, I'm just saying. It's gonna be your little charge cable. We're gonna plug this in. Is it an indicator? Nope. Air hogs indicator. Alright, so there is a small indicator on the actual black tab. It's gonna say air hogs. You're gonna to want to face that pointing forward along with the nose of the plane. All right, let that charge up uh, for the allotted time that is suggested by the manufacturer. All right, we just keep it over there. All right. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. <laughs>